I'll be talking pri primarily about uh, Knox's energies and some interesting aspects from the laboratory measurements of them from a science standpoint. And an interesting area which dowsers are basically totally unaware of where they may be doing a great disservice to some people when they deal with noxious ohms. A Y rod? So what that's supposed to mean? Here's the ocean out there. It said water ahead. <laughs> Here's one, the guy's parked his horse here, you know, and he's taken off with his uh, dowsing rod, and the horse is thinking, well, I guess there's nothing wrong with taking a stick for a walk. <laughs> this is Yogi Bear, he says, well, I see the park baboon has fallen for that old finding water with a divining rod hoax. Oh well, I guess that's better than, than less harmful than his picnic basket clutching. <laughs> He's in the habit of stealing pitching, uh, picnic baskets. Here he goes. Oh, the ranger goes into full hysterics here. He says, no, no, look at that. Well, that's Yogi. He's getting signals from the driest spot on the park. <laughs> guess what he found? He said, yes, my name happens to be Waters, why do you ask? <laughs> well, as I keep saying, the world is nuts. Yogi's the only one who's sane. <laughs> See, that's after one of the things that was in the uh, dowsing quarterly one time. An experienced dowser was giving a class on dowsing, and he said, would you please, says, point to north. I don't have my L rod here. And it swung out toward the audience, and he knew north was another direction. So he rearranged, got in his position again, pulled up his red socks, got everything just right, said, point to north, and boing. So he started explaining all the different reasons why dowsers, the dowsing rod can sometimes make an error. And the guy back in the back row puts his hand up and says, my name's north. <laughs> so then he said, would you please point to the Earth's magnetic north? And they go, boing. <laughs> uh, this, this is an explanation, which we'll go over. And, it, and this is a program that goes with the, le the noxious energy program. And it describes exactly what we want. Now here's what it basically is. Noxious energy. What you need to do is to find to your system exactly what you need, what you mean when you say noxious energies, because you have all kinds of opinions out there, and some say, well, it's zones, and some say it's something else, and uh, it's a real good idea to put a program into your system that tells the system out there, system in quotations, uh, and in letter to Robin on the primary program where it says. Restricted to, intercooperative restricted to, that's the program right there. Noxious energy program is to become part of and work with all my dowsing programs or agreements, be continually in effect until I choose to make changes. The term noxious energy, unless otherwise requested, is to mean any form of energy, condition, zone, or situation that is or could adversely affect any aspect of my, in brackets, so you can put anybody in there you want, total being in a harmful, disrupting, or interfering way by exceeding my, again, brackets, healing or defense mechanisms. Now that's the first description, but you also want to say this is not to include, so again you have an understanding with your dowsing system, uh, unless otherwise requested, smoking, alcohol, drugs, medication, food, drink, that I've deliberately and knowingly put into or on my body. Brackets again. This is to include, but not limited to, the effects of magnetic, electromagnetic energies from zero to all frequencies, alpha, beta, and gamma energies, the influences from fractures or faults, and underground water, all man-made, earth or cosmic energies, 
gases, mind, psychic, and spiritual influences. So I've made it very clear what I'm looking for when I'm looking for a noxious zone. 